Ravenel Ford, car buying made easy. This video coming up next is for you. What's up everybody, welcome to Ravenel Ford. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Ford Explorer Sport Track 2005. And uh, so stay tuned with us for the next few minutes. If you have been hunting down a sport track, cause you know, they have become a little harder to find. Here is one for you. So uh, let's take a look at it and see what's going on. And uh, today we'll kind of just go around the car, make sure it's in pretty decent shape. If we see any dent things, scratches, or any imperfections, I'll point them out to you. So the Ford Explorer Sport Track, yes. It's pretty much kind of like a Ford Explorer, but it has a truck bed in the back, which is kind of unique. I liked the Sport Track. I don't know why Ford did away with it, but um, I thought they were pretty cool at the time, and I still do think they're pretty unique. Um, I do notice it got some condensation in the headlight there, which a lot of your vehicles from 2010 and down, they, they had that issue. That just has to do with the rubber sealing and things like that, but that's okay. You know, again, when it gets hot outside, that just, the heat gets it right on out of there. It does have fog lights down in the bottom, uh, black paint with a little pollen on it because it is pollen season. You do have your tires here, which are in great shape. Plenty of tread on those tires. And uh, let's see, those are a 255 70 series 16 inch rim. So a 70 series tire, you got your runner rails on the bottom. Let's take a look at the price, because that's always important. 8880 has 128,420 on the mileage. So uh, 128,420, 8880's the price, okay? It does have a V6 under the hood, which is a 4.0 liter. Um, the Sport Track's got rear tinted windows in the back. It is full four door in size. And uh, this particular car does come with a warranty on it from Ravenel Ford. It's our three month, 3,000 mile warranty. And like I said earlier, it does have a truck bed in the back with a tunnel cover on top, uh, which can be removed if you don't need that back there. If I owned it, I'd probably just take the tunnel cover right on off. But uh, this one's in good shape. I mean, look at the body. So far, I haven't seen too many major dent stings or scratches, but as we get to the back here, I do notice something going on right in this area here. Okay, so it looks like had a little, something happened right there and some body work was done. And uh, so that's the only thing on the rear tailgate that I'm noticing. The, uh, the tunnel cover is in a little bit rough shape, as you can see here. And it uh, looks like someone put some duct tape over that. So, you know, this may be something that you want to replace. Still functional, but just getting worn out. You know, those rubber seal, seal or whatever you call them, these rubber things, they just go bad over the years, right? Back tires are in good shape, as you can see. So far, the body's in pretty decent shape, other than the rear trunk back there. Let's take a look at the inside. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. This one's got your gray cloth interior seats. A little bit of uh, discoloration right in there. Again, it's an 05, it's an older vehicle, folks. I mean, everybody takes that into consideration when they're buying an older car. It does have cruise control and uh, dash looks in good shape. Right there. Uh, this one's got vinyl floors with carpet floor mats. Vinyl floors are pretty cool though because you can just take a stake of water hose in here if you needed to and clean it out. Pretty solid. Again, pretty much like a Ford Explorer on the inside. It is a Ford Explorer. It's just a Ford Explorer Sport Track. Back seats are in good shape. Overall interior, I'd, I'd rate it probably a, um, probably a 7 out of 10. It's in good shape for an older car. Got a little scratch right there with some touch-up paint. I mean, again, it's an 05, folks. That's not a scratch, that's just some pollen on there. If you want to take it out for a test drive or you know, hear it run and all that kind of thing, you need to come on out to Ravenel Ford, folks, and take a look at it. We are in the Carolinas, South Carolina. Ravenel, just Google us. We'll be more than welcome to uh, work a good deal out for you on this one right here today. No deal admin fees, no dock fees of any kind. And thanks for watching on the YouTube channel. Always remember, Ravenel Ford, no closing or dog fees. It's really car buying made easy. Ravenel is only 15 minutes south down Savannah Highway past the Citadel Mall. We'll see you soon. Charleston Car Videos, your number one source for pre-owned car videos.